<laughs> Let me adjust my my glasses. Yeah. Good. I'm back. I took a little break. And um, I want to do a continuation of the videos on um, cooperatives. I did one with my wife on Sunday. I did one this morning. And this most probably the last one on the series of, um, okay, I'll do a third one on how to know the cooperative to join. So I want to look at the benefits of belonging to a cooperative. Cooperatives, members of cooperatives are called cooperators. That's what we call ourselves. And uh, one of the benefits you will have, benefit number one, is discipline. Discipline to save Compos compulsorily, compulsively, and intentionally. You will save monthly and regularly because it is expected of you to make a certain contribution, certain amount, contribute a certain amount monthly. So no matter what, those of us who are in cooperatives, we we'll always set money aside. Set money aside. They will give, usually give you a notice about a week or two before the day of the cooperative and then we we'll always set money aside. And then sometimes I know people who if they have some money they will pay it into the cooperative. The simple reason is that with that they can have resources. Assuming somebody makes a million naira from his business and he has about uh, four million there and he's thinking of buying a trailer head of maybe 15 million. And the trailers come back and give him one million naira returns. He can put the one million in his cooperative and then you will have 4 million and then build it up to maybe 6 million. He's entitled to 15 million Naira loan in these big cooperatives. It's enough money. Have 15 million. With 15 million, he buys a trailer, a new trailer, and a head. And you'll find out that his cost of repairs will reduce the weight of tonnage of materials he's carrying would have improved and increased and more revenue i'm using one of my one of my young friends who is a who is into holiday a lawyer to give an example so discipline discipline in paying back your loans your debts most people are indisciplined and because you can pay you you pay back your loans in the monthly expectation is discipline. Like as my wife said in the previous one of the previous video we shared on Sunday, while we were building the other school, she took loans from our cooperatives. The good thing with us is that we save, we have saved over years in these cooperatives. So she can take loans without somebody signing for him, I mean for her. So when she took these loans, some of them were taken in my name. So I had to help her. I mean, I had to offset these loans. I finished paying one now. There's another one I need to pay off so that we can have access to more loans to do more businesses. So save teaches you to save and teaches you debt management. The next thing is that you build a capital base over time. I just said that. For the years gone by, we'll be paying monthly into these cooperatives. Several of them paying 
monthly into these cooperatives. So we have an asset base. You have access to access to a financial backup and a buffer. That is to say, you you have backup in the sense that monies that you have put there, there's that kind of assurance when you know you have money there. There's that assurance if you know you have money there. And uh, you know, a man is relaxed if he knows that nothing comes in an emergency. He will be able to handle the issues that come. There's something that, a kind of peace you have when you have financial security, that no matter what, you have where you can go to. Um, the next thing is that you become a proportionate owner of a pool of money. A proportionate owner of a pool of money. That is, if the cooperative is worth one billion naira asset base, you are a proportionate owner. You have a proportion of it. And at the same time, you are synergizing with other people's capacity. If somebody takes a loan of 100 million to start a dredging business, and the cooperative takes a 10 million naira as interest from him, that man that is generated, that 10 million deducted from that money as interest, you are part owner of that money. So as he's dredging sand and paying back, and the asset of the cooperative is increasing, and you are seeing money to give to other people, you are a proportionate owner. And your money is working in the loans that those people took that they are using to work. So your money is working for you in another person's hands. So, then you also negate some key principles. Yeah, if you plot a graph of the value of money against time, you will see that it's like the demand curve. The value of money decreases with time. With the increase in cost of petrol in Nigeria, any money I had in the bank that I was using to buy fuel for my vehicles to carry school children, that value has reduced. In fact, to buy fuel to my other school, the, value, the amount of money I need to spend has increased by about 300%. But if you put your money in cooperative, and it is yielding dividends, you now find that that decrease in the value of money with time and inflation, too, you also have something that will increase the value of your money more than if you left it in a bank. Banks will just pay you peanuts. Now, then you jointly own businesses. If your cooperative owns an event center that they pay 250,000 naira every weekend I and mean, every time they rent it. If they rent it for three days in a week, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, that's 750,000. You are a proportionate owner in that business. You could not have set up that business on your own. So one way or the other, you own an event center in collaboration with others, so you are a shareholder. If it is a school, you, you might not need to own a school. You are a shareholder. You might not do the day-to-day -day running of the school, but money will come from it. If we buy real estate, recently our cooperative bought land, one that my wife belongs to bought land, and because they bought in bulk, the price was lower per plot. And we bought one for my daughter. So she owns property there because of the cooperative. And so in the other side we bought, other people own properties there now. 
at a lower price. And if not for the cooperative, some of them will not have bought properties. I know a pastor who bought his own, bought the one of a member that was not willing to build. And that's how he became a landlord and is building the other side for rent too. So you own real estate. Cooperatives can own buildings that they rent and collect rents, own stores, own shopping plazas, like as I, will talk, I talked about the Police Officers' Wives Association, their own shops, and people pay rent to them. Now, the next thing is that dividends from cooperatives are higher, far higher than dividends from banks. Bank, uh, bank uh, uh, intra uh, dividends for you from their shares, and even if you put money there, are much, much lower than that of cooperatives. And if banks want to share, um, give you interest for your savings, sometimes they give according to your balance there. Even if you took a loan from a cooperative, because your money is still there, and you are paying back your loan, they will still give you interest proportionate to what you own. So it's different from savings in a bank. They give better dividends than shares and even bonds. Number two, you form part of a network. You network with people of different types who own different businesses, who you can patronize, who can patronize you, who you can relate with, and who you can become friends with. Because some of these cooperatives, they share them into different units. And if you belong to these units, if you have a burial ceremony, you will see them come. I am not a fan of burials, but I know a young man, the day he buried his mother-in-law, his group in the cooperative gave him one million naira. I mean, his mother-in-law gave him one million naira. And they bought things and all that and all that for him. So you have a network, an extra family, a financial family. Then you have access to training. I have spoken to cooperatives all over. Like the one I spoke to at AWU, they paid me to speak to them for one hour. A lot of those individuals will not have access to me. But the cooperative paid. What they learned that day, they won't hear in church. They cannot sponsor themselves to such conferences. But they called me and I spoke to them and some, they were so happy to see me. And I've spoken to several cooperatives, including the Nigerian Ports Authority Cooperative. They took, their national body took me to Port Harcourt to speak to them. One of the most painful things that I've heard so far was when I was talking about financial intelligence and investment options in retirement. And one man that was to retire in September, I think I went there in January, he said, why didn't you bring this man to speak to us when I started work here early? Now I have just eight months to go. You are not sharing this with me. So, but at least he learned something. I told him what he could still do. These things I'm sharing with you, maybe it's because it's social media. People pay a lot to lend them. And they are very, very important and essential. They are, for me, as a pastor, as a preacher, they are more important than those things you shout, Amen! Somebody here, Amen! Shout the loudest, amen, you get the biggest miracle. Amen. As if deaf and dumb people don't receive miracles. But cooperatives will make you gain access to this kind of training. My school cooperative that my wife belongs to, they bring different people to come and teach them on management systems. So, training acquisition of skills 
management soft skills that you will not have acquired if you are on your own. Because a certain percentage of the cooperative money is budgeted for training. Then you can buy commodities at cheaper prices. During Christmas, Easter celebration and otherwise, like as I said about the Delta State University Cooperative Society, very great manager. They have a fine office complex, have an event center, have a warehouse where they stock materials. They buy in bulk. One of the things that you benefit as a cooperative is this power of the collective. You know, in the sea, during the sardine season, I was in South Africa, Durban in particular, during the sardine season. Sardines move as a school or a shoal, S-H-O-E-L, shoal, they go big mass. And they have a magnetic lining by their side, electromagnetic lining. So when one sardine moves, the whole sardines will move because of the pressure gauge, the sensitivity. So when a shark or a whale sees this big mass of sardine coming, because it has a, a uniocular vision, one eye, use one eye to see, and see this big black mass or silvery mass, will be wondering what kind of new giant creature is this? So it will give space. Until one over Sabi Sardin, Sabi in Nigerian language is to know, over Sabi Sardin, and a group will just move away, and then sunlight will pass through the mass. And then, oh, these are tiny sardines. And then the whale will come or the shark will come and gulp a lot of them. When you come together as a cooperative, like in my, in my cooperative, the school cooperative, we negotiate with government. We negotiate with the council. Council can bring some levies, some taxes, some regulations, because the cooperative and the body has lawyers. They can, sometimes, one time they went to court and they won. So you can negotiate with bank on certain conditions. You can negotiate with companies that sell products to sell to you at factory prices. You can negotiate with people and institutions and you will get rebates as a cooperative. Because if, like the banks, they need your money, like the companies you want to buy for, they need you to buy large quantities of uh, products from them. So they will reduce prices and they, because they respect you as an institution. And so you indirectly, those benefits speculate to you. And then you can leave a financial buffer for your children. The monies in the cooperative belong to you as a, an individual. But your children have a right to do the money. If you write down, you specify who will take over your position in that cooperative in the event of death. And cooperatives are quite reasonable. Whatever you have there, they will hand over to your children because they know your children. You are friends. They know your children. Your children know them. And they are, you have been friends to them. So it provides a strong buffer. And then you can leave when you want to leave. When you give a six-month notice. Six-month notice. Then they can hand over whatever your balance is to you. And paperwork is very minimal in cooperative. If you want access to loans, cheap loans are cheapest in cooperatives in Nigeria. Interest rates in the banks are very high. Paperwork is enormous. Time wastage is enormous. Insults in the bank, enormous. They will need collateral and all that. And then as you are withdrawing the money, COT, WWDs and that and that. Cooperatives don't do that. So, 
I suggest to you that you join a cooperative and maximize these benefits. In the next video, I'll be counseling you on the kind of cooperative. Number one, how you will identify a good cooperative, what to do in the cooperative. And for those of you in the diaspora, how you can belong to cooperatives. Please get in contact with me on plus 234-7052-136763. Subscribe to this channel, I beg you. Subscribe to this channel for your own good and share with others so that others can benefit from what we are doing. I'm receiving a lot of testimonies and I'm sharing them with my family and sharing them in the WhatsApp group, Dr. Apoki mentoring group, uh, mentorship group. Uh, if you send me a message that you want to join the mentorship group, I'll just forward it to the admin and they will add you. I want to thank you so much for being part of this great family and for giving me a listening ear because these things are buried within me and the only way I enjoy myself is to share them with you. Any way you can contribute to the development of this channel, financially, materially, whatever, let us know. We will treasure it. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles uh, Pokey. Please, these videos are not done because I want you to join the cooperative I belong to. You can join any cooperative. Thank you. God bless you.